How you doing? I'm Callan and this is Slap Tam. Today we're looking at tales from around the world of the infamous White Lady. So strap yourself in, hit that subscribe button and get ready for more creepy content just like this. There are some ghost stories that are unique to a specific area. Japan's Torei no Hanukkah-san, Bengal's Buta or South America's Sihuanaba. However, other ghosts seem to be universal. Most countries have legends involving poltergeists or ectoplasm. One particularly disturbing type of ghost that has documented legends in regions around the world is known as the White Lady. Each region has its own unique twist on the White Lady tale, but some aspects of the story are always the same. The spirit in question is always a woman wearing a long white dress. She often has long hair that obscures her face and is typically associated with a local urban legend. These legends often involve jilted lovers, tragically murdered children or bloody vengeance. These stories give the ghostly women an aura of both sadness and terror, leaving witnesses wondering if they should feel empathy or fear. So let's take a look at how various countries and regions around the world view the infamous White Lady. In Canada, a White Lady is said to haunt Montmorency Falls near Quebec City. In her tale, the white dress that she wears is believed to be her wedding dress. This unfortunate woman was engaged to be married to a dashing young soldier. When her fiancé was tragically killed in battle, she donned her wedding dress and travelled to their typical meeting place the top of the waterfall. Heartbroken, she tossed herself over the edge. It's said that today she still haunts the falls, searching for her lost love. In the UK, there are numerous legends about ghostly women in white dresses. In these stories, the woman was killed before she could reveal the location of some buried treasure. In death, she often appears to the living to beg them to follow her to the treasure unable to rest until it's discovered. In 1975, Peter Berthelot took this photo of his wife Diane in silent prayer while at Worstead Church in Norfolk, England. When the photo was developed, they were shocked to see a white apparition sitting on the pew behind Diane. The figure looks to be dressed in all white and has a strange glowing quality. This photo spread like wildfire, with newspapers the world over running articles on the famous White Lady of Worstead Church. The widespread media attention cemented the image as one of the most famous ghost photos of all time. In Brazil, she's called Dama Branca or Malha de Branco. As her Portuguese name suggests, the White Lady in Brazilian culture is often defined by her role as a mother. According to the legend, the ghosts who manifest as pale women in long white dressing gowns are often those who died during painful or violent childbirths. Sometimes the women were murdered by jealous husbands or angry fathers, accusing them of failing in their duties as a wife. Most of the time the ghosts are silent, but will occasionally speak to tell an interested ghost hunter her tale of woe. This ghost story from the Philippines will sound familiar to many fans of the supernatural. According to legend, the White Lady of Belet Drive in Quezon City was once a young woman walking along the road in a white dress. She was struck by a car and killed. Today, solitary drivers on the road at night see her on the side of the road, beckoning them for a ride. Cab drivers have reported picking up a young woman in white along the road only to have her disappear without a trace. Versions of this story have become urban legends all over the world. This photo here was taken in a rural area of the Philippines. This young man had his photo taken while posing in front of a raging river. Little did he know that he would capture something far more sinister. In the top left hand corner of the image you can see a mysterious figure dressed in white. It has a featureless dark face and appears to be clinging to a rock. White Lady legends often state that the ghost's energy is drawn to bodies of water, possibly looking for her missing children or a lost lover. Could this photo prove the existence of the infamous Lady in White once and for all? The United States has numerous legends involving a woman in white. In one story, a woman in a white dress haunts the Durand Eastman Park in Rochester, New York. 
She searches for the body of her daughter who was allegedly killed by her boyfriend and his friends. At Union Cemetery in eastern Connecticut, visitors regularly see a white lady wandering the cemetery or the roads nearby. Occasionally, she causes cars driving nearby to veer off the road. In Madisonville, Louisiana, locals report a white lady they call the Silk Lady. She was killed when a snake spooked her horse and threw her off. Those who see her today are often terrified to hear her shriek like a banshee. In addition, the White Lady of Wapsi, haunting near Altoona, Pennsylvania, is believed to be the spirit of a hiker. She and her husband died when they fell from a cliff on Wapsinanok Mountain. Now, those hiking on foggy days report spotting her as she searches for her husband. This image here is one of the most famous photos of the mysterious White Lady. It was captured by the Ghost Research Society of America at Bachelors Grove Cemetery in 1991. A member of the team began taking photos after getting high readings on their equipment. They were certain no one was around, yet in the photo, a forlorn young woman sits with a stooped posture among the trees. This striking picture has since gone on to become one of the most recognisable ghost photos of all time. At Hapsalu Castle in Estonia, visitors have been known to spot the spirit of a sad-looking woman in a white dress. She appears most often during full moons in the month of August, possibly reflecting the time of her tragic death. Locals believe that she is the spirit of a young woman who once fell in love with a clergyman. He disguised her as a choir boy, which allowed her to hide in the church and carry on their relationship. However, the unfortunate girl was discovered during a visit from the Bishop of Osorvik, he ordered that she be entombed alive in the castle walls for her sins. The Czech Republic has a variety of ghost stories involving a mysterious woman in a white dress. However, the best known of these stories is that of the ghost of Perkta of Romsberg, who haunts Romsberg Castle. She was the daughter of a nobleman, Ulrich II of Romsberg. She was given in marriage to another nobleman, Jan of Liechtenstein but the relationship was not a happy one. She often wrote letters to her family describing the abuse that her husband subjected her to. Her husband took ill and while on his deathbed, he begged her to forgive him for his poor treatment of her. Perkta refused and he cursed her with his dying breath. Because of this curse, she's been forced to linger on in the castle grounds, roaming the halls and gardens in her signature white dress. On the moors of the Netherlands, Viteviven or white ladies are said to roam. These spirits are both malevolent and kind, sometimes abducting or switching children, but sometimes aiding in childbirth or offering advice. In addition to the Viteviven, the lore of the Netherlands contains the story of the white lady of Schinveldse Bossen Forest. The forest was once the location of a castle. In the 17th century, the daughter of Lord Lambert Reinhardt was set to be married. Another nobleman, jealous and angry that he hadn't been chosen to marry the girl, set fire to the castle, killing the young bride. Today, she can be seen after midnight roaming the grounds in her white wedding dress. In eastern Siberia, locals tell the legend of a white lady known as the Maiden of Yuli. According to the story, this particular lady was miserable in her marriage. Her husband had no sympathy and humiliated her by forcing her to live in a black yurt. Not long after, she attended another wedding where she danced for eight days and nights, feeling the pain of her loneliness. Afterward, she hanged herself in a barn. In death, she joined the spirits of other woeful maidens. Together, the white ladies haunt men on their wedding days, attempting to mesmerize them with their beauty and lure them away from their brides and into the underworld. At the Vidala Palace in Malta many years ago, a young woman was preparing for her wedding to a man she didn't love. Her father told her that she must marry this man. Instead, she threw herself from a balcony. Today, she still haunts the palace in her pristine white wedding dress, often appearing at the palace's annual ball. However, Malta's most famous woman in white is the White Lady of Medina. She was in love with a man but forced to marry another. Unable to watch his love marry another man, her lover murdered her. 
Today, she's been seen wandering in her wedding dress, usually by heartbroken men. She appears to them and tells them to either go find another woman to love, or to go with her and become part of her shadow. At Charles Forten Island, visitors have been known to encounter the most famous ghost in the country, the White Lady of Kinsale. Her story begins on her wedding night. Her husband was a soldier stationed at the fort. She was a local girl and they fell in love while he was stationed there. Their wedding was small but they celebrated late into the night, before retiring to his room to finish their celebration in private. The soldier left his new bride when the time came for his watch to begin. Exhausted from the wedding party, the soldier fell asleep at his post. Following protocol for the situation, another soldier shot him for dereliction of duty. His wife was devastated when she learned of her husband's death. She ran to the top of the highest wall and flung herself off. Today, her ghost lingers at the fort, most frequently being spotted by the wives and children of soldiers stationed there. This photo was taken at another one of Ireland's most haunted places, Loftus Hall. A group of paranormal investigators were touring the property when they captured a truly startling image. In the dark at the main entrance, two pale and translucent figures were captured on film. They looked to be wearing period attire and almost blend into the shadowy backdrop. The 14th century mansion has been known to be notoriously haunted for almost its entire existence. Those who visit report all sorts of ghostly encounters, including orb sightings, cold spots, and run-ins with apparitions, particularly ladies in white. If you want more scary videos just like this one in your feed, remember to hit that subscribe button and turn on channel notifications. That way you'll be notified about all our latest spooky content. Visitors to the Berliner Schloss or the Berlin City Palace regularly report spotting the ghost of a white lady. All of the kings of Prussia lived in the palace, so there are several different women who could be linked to the pale ghost. The most popular possibility is the Countess Kunigunda of Orlamunde. This noblewoman allegedly murdered her two children because she believed they were standing in the way of her marrying a high-ranking nobleman. The German town of Rieder-Wiedenbruck has its own resident white lady. The manor, called Haus Orsel, was once the home of a young prince. While he was away fighting in a war, his wife had an illicit affair with a minstrel. When the prince returned earlier than expected and caught them, he killed the minstrel and sealed his wife behind a wall. He provided her with food and water, wanting to keep her alive and faithful until he returned. Unfortunately, he died in battle. When the prince failed to return, the young wife slowly starved to death behind the wall. Today, her spirit haunts the manor, and is believed to have been responsible for several mysterious deaths on the property. If you can't get enough of the old slapped ham, then don't worry, we've got you covered. Check out these two links there for heaps more scary content. Remember to follow us on all our socials. We're on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. There's links in the description box below. And that's it for me. I'll see you all next time. 